What's going on YouTube? Subhome Saint bringing you another review this week and this week we're going to take a look at the Tsunami RDA by Geek Vape. So, don't know about you guys but I'm becoming a big fan of Geek Vape. They're just coming out with some great products with the Griffin RTA, not a Tsunami RDA and they're all affordable which is definitely a pro in my book. So, cool thing about the Tsunami RDA is it has the Velocity Style Build Deck but the Kennedy style airflow so it's kind of awesome that they combine the two best the two expensive the two most expensive RDAs and combine the best of both of them and made the Tsunami so that is pretty cool another thing that's cool is they use hardness of set screws at 55 58 HRC by 1200 degrees Celsius nitrogen surface treatment so it, it's gonna make your longevity or whatever of your s screws last longer which is definitely a pro in my books because that is a big con with me and a lot of RDAs is I'll have my favorite RDAs and just the screws do not want to work with me or else I'll strip it with that little hex key or allen key and it just ruins my whole mood man it's like pfft. so I think that's really awesome that they did that that is definitely a pro in my book. Another pro is it's $30, guys. And I got another thing for you guys. So, so as my 800 subscriber giveaway, guys, I am giving away three Tsunami RDAs to my subscribers. Now, the only thing I want you guys to do on your part is you have to be subscribed to me obviously if you're not subscribed to me you're not gonna get a chance to win it's just not gonna happen uh this is trying to give away or try to give back you know my channel i've got 800 subscribers i want to give back to my viewers i did purchase these myself nobody sent this to me i had to buy them myself do not worry i will pay for shipping so what I want you guys to do is you have to be subscribed, leave one comment below, and are you listening? You gotta like the video and you gotta share the video. If you guys can do that for me, I will come back to you guys in a week and announce the three winners of the Tsunami RDA. So, but anyways guys, let's get down to the nitty and the gritty of the Tsunami RDA by Geek Vape. Packaging the Tsunami RDA by Geek Vape comes in. Geek knows better. And I gotta admit, they've been doing a pretty good job at that. Here's your scratch and check to check your authenticity. Here's all your specs if you guys wish to pause the video. Take a look. It does tell you about the screws. It does use Peak Insulator. It does have your drip tips. And it does have the best of the Velocity Style Deck and the Kennedy Style Airflow. So, let's open this up. And immediately you will see your Tsunami RDA with two different drip tips. Now, this drip tip is a wide board drip tip. You guys can see here. Pretty nice, pretty nice. We'll get more into that here in just a minute. Here is your stainless steel 510 drip tip, which is pretty standard, pretty standard, not bad. Tsunami RDA push that to the side for you guys just for a minute pop this out for that snug as a bug and you will see a little bag of goodies guys anyways this is your 510 adapter to use for your 510 drip tip or a drip tip of your choice extra screws your allen key hex key whatever you want to call it o-rings definitely a pro there always got to do that now we take this out and here's your specifications of all your drip tips if you guys really wish to know because i do not have the device to measure all that so first off let me show you guys how the 510 adapter works here and get it out of this little baggie here oh let me in and here is your 510 adapter which is pretty nice. Got these nice little grooves on it. That way you guys can screw it in with your thumb. Now unscrew this. Like butter. Now what I do is I will get it started. 
go ahead and pop my preferred drip tip in. Mine is the lime green dot mod. Then I will finish screwing it in. As you guys can see, it sits flush. Very nice, very nice. Just pops right in there. So, pop that out. Since I, my hands are always all clammy and everything, I just use the drip tip to unscrew it. Then you pop your preferred drip tip right back in, or the wide board drip tip. So, let's get over to specs here. Now you do have a gold plated adjustable 510. As you guys can see here, let me see if I can get you guys to see a little bit here. I don't think my camera wants to focus. There we go. Designed and manufactured by Geek Vape. So, take a look at the build deck here. We will go ahead and use their Geek Vape. Go ahead and pop this off. As you guys can see, pretty nice, pretty nice machining here. Pretty standard plane here. You got your dual airflow slots and your single airflow slots. Now, these airflow slots are 3.5 millimeters in height and 7.9 millimeters across. So, definitely got some airflow for you guys. So, let's set this to the side. Pop this off for you. And as you guys can see, Tsunami is engraved. You have dual O rings. Now, your post holes are 2.1 millimeters by 3 millimeters, so they are rectangular, fit a little bit better builds up in there, which is a big pro to me. I really like that, and these screws are just phenomenal. I really wish they would use them in all RDAs. Manufacturers, pay attention. <laughs> now, whenever you build your coils, right here, sitting above, directly above the airflow, your cotton's going to sit right here, right here. But you are going to have this empty space right in the middle and right in the front of the airflows. So you're going to have to paint your coils a little bit more, which is kind of a gripe and a complaint to me. But it is no biggie. It's all subjective to you guys. If you guys don't mind it, I do get great flavor off of this RDA and great cloud production. As you guys can see, I do not get a lot of leaking from it. But you do get a little bit of condensation which is expected around your mod that is not leak that is condensation i mean it happens you can't prevent that now now that we have seen the build deck let me show you guys the various drip tip options really like this one really cradles the lip then you will use this drip tip just screw it in there and it looks more like a Kennedy. Nice wide bore. You can see right down into your coils. But that is about all I have to show you guys. I prefer this drip tip. Just because I think it looks different. It looks cool. Anyways, that is about all I have to show you guys. This is a great RDA and we will be going back to FaceTime the vape on it. Talk about it and I'll tell you the pros and the cons guys. Alright guys. That was the nitty and the gritty of the Tsunami RDA by Geek Vape. So, let's go over the pros and the cons here. Pros, definitely the screws. I love the screws. Velocity style build deck. Kennedy Airflow. Uh, let's see here. You get three drip tip options plus a 510 adapter to use your own drip tip, which is awesome. Affordable, vape budget friendly, $30. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, let's see here. 510 is adjustable, which is awesome. You can use single coil mode for you single coilers. I'm a dual coiler myself, but hey, the option's there, so that's pretty awesome that they catered to those people too. Uh, it's sleek, it's simple looking. Uh, get great flavor off of it with the airflow coming up underneath the coils uh great cloud production has got just the right amount of airflow in my opinion it's not too much it's not too little it's just right goldilocks would be jealous right now so anyways guys see my cons here 
There's not very many cons, but there is a con. At being a 22 millimeter RDA and having an airflow slot like it does, it is not like the Kennedy 24 where you have all that room on your for your cotton. So what you do is you have a tendency of empty space right in the center and right near the airflow slots as I showed you guys in the up close and personals. Now, what that does is it causes you to have to drip on your cotton a lot more, which is kind of a con to me. I mean, it's kind of a subjective con. If you don't mind taking your cap off and dripping all the time, then whatever. But I have to tell you guys that it is kind of a nuisance when you have to constantly drip on your cotton because you don't have enough cotton in there and you can't fit any more in there to saturate your wick or yeah, saturate your cotton, you know, produce vapor so other than that guys it's really not a big con for me um the o-rings are awesome they fit just right snug hold on pretty nice as you guys can see so that's about it that's all i got for you guys thank you so much for watching leave a like don't forget your comment and share this video and i will see you guys next week with the winners of the tsunami rda